Okay, so we're still on the form we made with our get functions, and we have our name passed through the URL. But there's some extreme limitations to using git. First, all of your information is displayed for all the world to see. What if you have sensitive information? Or what if you're passing a huge amount of information? Maybe you have a lot of different fields or one big field. Or what if you just think it doesn't look very nice and you want to keep your site URLs looking clean? Well, we have another option for that, and it's called post. If we come back to our code, we can change the method to post, and it's handled much the same way as git. Basically, we'll just change the gets to posts. Now when we go back, we'll start again from the basic one. And we have four, hello from creativeonlineschool.com. This time, when I put my name in and submit, I still get my name, but there's nothing in the URL. It stayed the same. This helps us keep everything looking clean and be a little bit more secure since it's not on display. Now, to learn a little bit more about the post and gets, this syntax where you see the brackets is because the post and get variables are arrays. Arrays are sets of information instead of individual values. And as such, they need a little bit more information to tell which part of the set that you're looking at. We're going to start making our own so that you can understand them a little better. So instead of setting var equal to 4, we're going to set var equal to array. And if we open it up, we can just put different things in the array. We'll say different names. Tony, Steve, oh. Tony, Steve, Jeff, Franklin, and this is list of names. Notice they're just strings and they're separated by commas. Now, what happens if we try to echo this? I'm going to go back to our web page and we'll take this and refresh it. Oh no, we get a warning. Array to string conversion, and it doesn't work. That's because arrays can't be echoed directly. You have to echo what's in them instead of the whole thing. Now, we can display an array with a different command. It's called print underscore r. And then we open some brackets for it. And now if we go back to our page, you'll see all the different things in the array. Tony, Steve, Jeff, and Franklin. However, this is printing the array in its complete form. You see there's numbers next to them. These numbers are the indexes to these names. Tony is at position 0, Steve is at position 1, and so on. For whatever reason, they decided to make it start with 0 instead of 1. That can be confusing for folks, but it's just something you'll have to remember. But what this means is, because we have an index, if we did want to echo an individual value that looked neater, we can say echo var, and now we open those brackets and say 0. And now when we load the page, we'll just see Tony. That's how you access an individual value in an array, and that's what was going on in our post. We were pointing to name because its index was name. We'll continue some more about arrays in the next video.